Agora TV. The world is thinking. I am uh, I'm John Bissell. I'm the CEO of Michael Midas. Um, and what we do is convert um, sewage sludge, or municipal sludge, um, a certain fraction of that, uh, a relatively large fraction, we convert into biodegradable plastic, specifically um, polyhydroxyl can weight. Um, so what, what polyhydroxyl can weight is, is basically a disposable plastic. It's very similar to the kinds of the plastic that your water bottle sitting in front of you are made out of. Um, it has similar properties. It's tough, flexible, durable. It's very usable. Um, <clears throat> on the other side, uh, we actually take the exact same fraction of sludge that ordinarily in anaerobic digestion gets turned into methane. We take it and we make biodegradable plastic out of it. Mm. Um, on a weight by weight basis, uh, methane, after it's been converted into uh, electricity, is worth something like a cent or three cents a kilo. Um, our biodegradable plastic is worth about a buck twenty a kilo. Um, so there's kind of a nice uh, price disparity or value disparity there in terms of the product. Um, so we, we came to this by looking at what was going on in the biodegradable plastics and biochemicals markets. And we saw that there's a lot of things going on, first of all. Um, but what's very interesting is they all come from the same place. Uh, they all basically come from sugar. Um, so we looked at the value chain, and you can see that there's a bunch of steps going down the value chain. So you start out with things like natural rubber, which are basically directly from, uh, from the, the initial plant or whatever your farm crop is. Um, and then you make starch, your sugar. Uh, you can make different sort of unpleasant plastics. A lot of these are lower value commodity chemicals. Um, and then eventually you get to something that looks like PHA. Uh, and there are people making PHA out of sugar. But unfortunately, at each one of these steps, you have a significant cost increase. Um, you're going through processing, transport, logistics. Um, plus, you have to deal with uh, the crop rotations and harvest cycles and things like that. Um, so what we thought would be really interesting, you have some more interesting things, lots of people doing these. But what we thought would be really interesting is what if you could take PHA and make it directly from your original carbon source, which is essentially CO2 or waste in most cases? Well, there are other kinds of waste besides CO2. There's sludge. So we do a one-step conversion um, to make a product which currently is made out of sugar and sells for roughly 4x the price of current disposable plastics. And it does sell 50 to 100 million pounds per year, which is small in the plastics world. But the fact that it's selling at all is really impressive with a commodities market like that. And we come in at price parity with petroleum plastics. So not 4x, price parity. And we can do it because we come from a zero cost feedstock, sludge. Um, so in terms of the way that we function, it's relatively straightforward. If you know anaerobic digestion, it's the same model. We come straight from there. We do uh, what looks like an acid phase digestion, classic acid phase digestion. We clean the stuff up, pull out the salt, residual solids that haven't digested. We take that, we feed it to our bug population. Um, and they grow nice and big and fat. They make plastic inside them. We extract the plastic. Uh, we recycle the bug bodies back to the original bugs, because what do bugs like to eat best? Other bugs. Um, and then we take the residual water. It's a well-known fact. Right? Yeah. Um, and we take the residual water that comes, which is actually, you know, in the total total scheme of things, uh, there's not that much water in sludge, um, but it's a nice little bonus. Uh, and then we sell the plastic to, uh, to the processor. Um, so how do we do this? Um, what we have is uh, a, we call it a designed consortia. You've heard of mixed consortia, which is used in activated sludge. Um, what we did is instead of taking uh, a general selective pressure and applying that to a relatively heterogeneous population of organisms to try and get them to do one thing, um, the problem there being that you get lots of inefficiencies. You get bugs that manage to survive in those selective conditions but can't actually do what you want them to do. Um, they sort of snuck in. Uh, we go through and we pick out lots of different species, which we've characterized individually, combine them together, and we end up with what sort of looks like a pro sports team. Um, they play really well together. Uh, not necessarily independently. And that allows us to consume lots of different things, like sludge. Sludge is composed obviously of lots and lots of different feedstocks. We can do that with just about anything. So if you take something that's biological um, and you can liquefy it in some fashion or another, we can probably turn that into biodegradable plastic.